This is Harley Kicktiv. I am fortunate enough to be the proud owner of an original ASIC Gel Diablo from 1996. Maybe you have seen the full detailed look that I did on this some time ago. And if you didn't, check out the link here in the on top of the video screen. And just recently I have been able to get my hands on the Ronnie Feig ASICS Gel Diablo Volcano that released alongside a Gel 3, which had the Gel 5 original colorway on it. But I think A, this is the, the double model, and I really dig this colorway. And uh, as some people said that they didn't nail the original shape exactly, um, that's why I'm doing this video here. I want to do a comparison between these two beauties, the original and the re-release. And uh, I want to take a closer look on the similarities and differences and what to look out for sizing wise as well. And uh, so check it out, stay tuned. So here they are both side by side. Um, on the top you have the OG, here you have the Ronnie Flag one. And one of the differences is the curvature of the outsole. Um, the Feig has a little bit more curved outsole. Um, looks a little more modern. You can see that on a lot of modern running shoes that it has a little bit curved outsole. Um, takes away from the OG shape, of course, because this is a lot more straight. Um, I think the straight sole also contributes to the fact that the toe box is a little more aggressive looking. Than this, I think, um, in height, they're about the same. But if you push this down, you see that it is a little better and resembles the OG a little bit more. Of course, you can reshape the sole. Of course, you can reshape the toe box. Um, at least on the toe box, I'm not sure if that's really necessary to achieve what you want because I know that over time wearing your shoe, it will get a little bit better. Um, very noticeable here on the shoe, and that's one of the, the key differences between these is the cut of the panels. If you look at this section here and this section, you can see that this is almost twice as, as high. Uh, same thing here, same thing here, and same thing here in the, in the heel. And this is just what makes the OG the OG. And um, this contributes to the fact that the tiger stripes are running much higher on the shoe than on the Ronnie Feig. Also, you have a little um, curve down and then up again, and here's just one curved line from the top here to the to the bottom. Um, midsole is also different. The biggest difference here is the size of the gel logo. This is much bigger than that one here. Also, the the uh, the circular area around the gel logo is um, longer. It's probably about a centimeter longer, I think, in diameter. If you look at this here, also the placement of this of this little piece here is a little different. I think putting them side by side, it is a little bit placed more. Where is it? I think it's more in the center. I think this is a little bit more back, but all in all, the the uh, dimensions are in the green zone. Um, heel section is a little different, not much. It has a little bit more cut here in the heel, if you look at that. Also, you can see the, the ASICS swirl here. It's missing here. You also have an ASICS swirl here in the front, and this one doesn't have it. Um, let's stay at the outsole. Um, 
this here it has the outsole material, material throughout the whole shoe and here just in the front section and in the rear section this material here is the midsole material quite a bit of a difference I think but this is also what you find on the Gel at 5 for example so it does make sense if this is uh, for the for the Volcano uh, of course it makes sense that they use the same construction as that shoe not sure if that's how that is going to be on the um, OG release in August if it's going to be like this a full outsole or like this I'm really curious about that but it's not really a dramatic thing to me so it's just a, a matter of design I think preference um, important thing of course is sizing and fit um, these are both a size 13 whereas I think that the right five here and the 13 runs bigger this is more snug um, the heavily padded heel area here might contribute to this and also um, the more narrow toe box I think contributes to this but if you put them side by side a length comparison I think that the let's put them heel on heel I think that the uh, retro is a little bit longer so um, if you get in one of the OGs I would definitely recommend to size up half a size from your true to size A6 size so if you're like a 10 in your July 3, July 5 uh, get these in a 10 and a half and if you are a 10 and a July 3, July 5 then get a 10 in this one as well um, if you cannot find your size it doesn't really matter to size up half a size I did that as well because the uh, Diablo here is just available in either a 12 or 13 and I'm a 12 and a half so I sized up but it didn't really matter to me or it didn't hurt me because I have noticed that I was sizing up uh, lately on a couple of models and uh, I just find it more comfortable um, especially in the summertime your, your foot is going to swell up a little and in winter time you might want to wear some thicker socks so a little bit more room is very comfortable and I cannot stand snug fitting shoes anymore it's just not my thing anymore somehow I need the comfort and uh, I'm, I'm fine with that um, so I think that's basically, basically it um, those are the main difference between the OG and the FIG uh, I hope you find this information useful and uh, yeah, if you like my channel, subscribe. If you like this video, just hit a thumbs up or leave a comment. And if you want to get notified whenever I put a new video online, you can tick that notification bell and you get a message. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I'm going to see you next time again. So thanks for watching. Until then, bye bye.